But uh, okay, guys, I was also going to tell you about uh, this book that's really taken off from yours truly, The Seven Layers of Love. Um, I just thought I'd, I'd bring it up. It's, it's, it's been great gaining um, lots of attention from lots of people. And if you're wondering what's going on with this book, or The Seven Layers of Love, Revealing the Secrets of Everlasting Love by John P. Fox. In this book, I outline seven major types of love or experiences of love it's, it's not just the one one type of love and everything else is hate <laughs> but when a relationship happens they go through up to seven layers like an onion well onion has more than seven layers but love itself is like an onion it has many layers okay and it's, some of it's not even related some of the layers are not even related to having a relationship but yet they still exist and so in the book, it talks about each and every of the seven layers, and it goes into detail uh, on each layer. The chapters are chock full of information, absolute authority on love. As you know, I was in love with somebody for 25 years, and I've recently lost her. This has been um, information I've been disclosing. I've recently lost her. She, she he had uh, been born with only one kidney, and... Well, she was a spring chicken when I met her and stayed that way most of the 25 years, but that, that other kidney failed and that, that dialysis was short-lived. So, um, but you know what? Heaven and bliss is probably a far better place for anybody that's been living with that problem. So anyways, but we always do what we can. And that's one thing I do like about this government is it, it they, they went ahead through Medicare and took care of her dialysis, and that was, uh, that was a blessing. That, you know, we, we do have, still have some greatness in this country. But I was going to say, this book, The Seven Layers of Love, is written by an absolute authority on love. I have been examining why I feel the way I do towards my wife, and I have been examining it like first thing in the morning over coffee or late at night when you can't sleep, can't fall asleep right away. And I started realizing, wow, you know, we're like family together. Uh, I, even if, even if I see somebody else and have some kind of uh, attraction, it doesn't matter because I'm so happy with the one I'm with. It's just I, I can't, you know. And each day we have to be together. We can't, we can't be apart from each other even for a day. I can go do my job, but I'm not got her on the phone, you know, three three hours in, and I'm talk, saying, "How are you today?" <laughs> love you and hang up and then i get done with my job and i'm right back by her side again and vice versa so this was going on year after year day after day year after year each and every day that passed we enjoyed each other to the maximum so that makes me an absolute authority on love and how it works there are couples that got to get away from each other just you know they love each other but they can't every day with the you know do the thing and so Having that uh, knowledge as well, I was able to identify not one, but seven different layers of what happens to love. And the seventh layer I call the ultimate layer. That is the one that be, it, love becomes a condition. Just like if you, if you, uh, you know, have some kind of sort of a problem with your skin or something, and it's a condition and has to be treated. This ultimate layer of love is a condition that sets in. Once it sets in, it's there. It's there. It's a condition. And so what we did was we worked our way up to the seventh layer and talked about all the other layers of love in between and what the differences were and how it all develops. And each chapter can absolutely enlighten the reader uh, what's really going on when you look at an old couple at the restaurant or somewhere else at the park and they're, they're, they're old, and, and you can tell, and it, it looks like they're still very much in love, and you wonder why. You wonder how that can be. How did they make it that long, that far? And this book reveals the secrets of that. So I just want to tell you about it. You can get it on Amazon, The Seven Layers of Love, Revealing the Secrets of Everlasting Love by John P. Fox. Absolute authority on love. And right now, um, I'm an authority on... <laughs> I'm having to be an authority on some other things because I'm in between chapters. So that's, that's beside the point. I just wanted to tell you about that book and move on. Today we have Dr. David Jeremiah, who's going to be giving us our hope message. He's an absolute scholar and a doctorate in the study of 
deity, God's word, theology, the Holy Bible, all of the above. And he is going to give us a quick message. And he articulates the information found in the Holy Bible as well as anyone, if not the best ever. Dr. David Jeremiah, that's coming up. In